Uh, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be doing short division, aka bust up method. Hi Niall. So we will be doing division today and we'll be learning a new way to divide which is called short division or bust up method. Before we show everyone at home, what should they get to join in with us? A piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and whiteboard pens so you can join in with me and pause the video at any time so you can give it a go. Brilliant. So let me ask you a question before we start doing the questions on the board. Do you know what 60 divided by 2 is? 30. So you already know that. What happens when we divide by 2? What are we actually doing? Halving it. Okay, Niall. It's very important that we know how to use the method. So can you use that first example to show everyone at home? Um, so the first thing that's probably very important is that you need to put the number that you're dividing inside the bust up sign, which is this, um, and the number you're dividing by outside on like the side of it. Okay, so that question is telling us to do what? What's the calculation for that question? So we need to do 6 divided by 2. Before you explain what to do, what is the entire question asking us? 60 divided by 2. So good, so that's how we would write 60 divided by 2. So now can you show us what you do first? So you do 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3, mm -hmm. so we put a 3 on top of there. We know the answer is still 30, but it's showing you the example. So 0 divided by 2 equals 0. Okay. So, so, so another way of saying 0 divided by 2 is saying how many 2's can we get in 0? Yeah. And then none, so we have to put the 0. And what's important with the position of the numbers that you've put in the answer? You need to always put the units under the units and the tens under the tens and the hundreds under the hundreds and so on. And so on. So what is the answer for 60 divided by 2? 30. 30. And we already knew that from yeah. the beginning. So we've proven that this method works. Yeah. What is the next question asking us to do? 84 divided by 2. Very good. So the so, number on the inside is being divided and the number on the outside, that's what we're dividing it by. Can you talk us through the steps? Um, so you do 8 divided by 2, which equals 4. Mm -hmm. So we put the 4 on top of the 8, on top of the line. And then we do 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2, so we can put our 2 there. So that means 84 divided by 2 equal to 42. Equals 42. Very good, Niall. Okay, Niall, let's have a look at the third question. What's the question asking us to do? 96 divided by 3. Okay. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So we can put our 3 over the, over the 10s, which is the 9. Mm -hmm. And then 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So I can get my 2 and put it on top of the units. Okay. So what is the question and answer? 96 divided by 3 equals 32. Brilliant, Niall. Um, so we have some questions, now they're going into hundreds. And the first question is 600 divided by 2. So the first, so we do 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And then we do 0 divided by 2. How many 2's go into 0? Well, 0. So we put another zero there, and then how many twos go into zero again? Well, zero. So we put our next zero there. 
um, 600 divided by 2 equals 300. Brilliant. Can you go on to the next one, please? Okay. 862 divided by 2. It's a bigger number, but you, you, you should never be afraid of big numbers. So, we do 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And then we do 6 divided by 2, which is 3. And then we do 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So question and answer? 862 divided by 2 equals 431. Excellent, Niall. Next question. Okay, so 903 divided by 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times. So we can put a 3 on top of there. And then 3 goes into 0 0 times. So I can put my 0 there. And then 3 goes into 3 once. So, I'll put my one there. So the answer is? 903 divided by 3 equals 301. Okay, so welcome back. We've got three new questions. Um, we'll be doing that. And I think some of them go into remainders. Ooh, let's have a look. So, the first question is 70 divided by 2. So we do 7 divided by 2, which is 3, remainder 1. Oh, so what are you going to do with that 3 and that remainder 1? So we put our 3 up here. Okay, so 2 goes into 7 3 times. And then our remainder of 1, we would put here next to the number on the right. Very good. And what next is that, number on the right. What does that number on the right now become? 10. Okay, so that the remainder goes over and we join the numbers together and it's now 10. So what's next? So now we do 10 divided by 2, which equals 5. So what's the question and the answer? 70 divided by 2 equals 35. And we know that's correct. Yeah, that's we half know. of 70. 35. Brilliant, Niall. Okay, next question. So, 60 divided by 5. Mm -hmm. So we can do um, 6 divided by 5, which equals 1, remainder 1. Mm -hmm. So we put our remainder here, and we have 10. Okay. And we have 10. Mm -hmm. So now we do 10 divided by 5 which equals 2. Mm -hmm. So 60 divided by 5 equals 12. Excellent, Niall. Next one. So we do 51 divided by 3. Tricky one, eh? Mm -hmm. So we do 5 divided by 3, which is 1. Remainder 2. Okay. So can we see where you're doing the 2? So you put the 2 there. And what does that number now become? 21. Ooh. Okay. So we need to do 21 divided by 3. Yes. So what's a quick way to. Okay. 3. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So, 7. Very good. Then we can put our 7 here. So what's the question and the answer? 51 
divided by 3 equals 17. Brilliant, Naya. Well done. Okay, I'm back. So we have three more questions. So the first question is 450 divided by 2. And I think some of these go into remainders again. So we need to do 4 divided by 2, which equals 2. And then we can do 5 divided by 2, which equals 2, but, but it has a remainder of 1. So we put our 1 here, and then that means it's 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Okay, 450 divided by 2 equals 225. Very good. Okay, so we're on to our next question. 354 divided by 3. So the first bit of it, we need to do 3 divided by 3, which equals 1. And then we need to do 5 divided by 3, which equals 1, remainder 2. 1. One remainder two. And then we need to do um, 24 divided by three. So three goes into 12 um, four times. So 12 goes into 24 two times. So we need to do four times two, which equals eight. So we can put an eight on top of here. Excellent, Niall. So, 354 divided by 3 equals 118. Excellent, Niall. Okay, next question. 655 divided by 5. So, 6, 5 goes into 6 once, so we can put our 1 there, but we have a remainder of 1. So 5 goes into 15, 15, 3 times, so we put our 3 here. Now we do 5 into 5, which is what, and 5 goes into 5 once, so we can put our 1 here. So 655 divided by 5 equals 131. Excellent, Niall. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, subscribe now. Bye! Woo! Don't forget to press that like button!